Well, hello, fellow microbe hunters and YouTube enthusiasts. While we were all in a state of uh, self-quarantine because of this coronavirus, I thought I would take the time to share with my um, colleagues on the F Microbe Hunter website um, my microscopes. Maybe they can share with me what they use. Um, I have several microscopes. Um, it's more, I would say, a fetish rather than a need. But uh, since I enjoy these precision instruments, uh, I seem to also collect them. It's a very expensive hobby, but um, uh, yes, I have no control over that, unfortunately. This is my first microscope that I got was the, by a company called Bristoline, Bristoline. And I believe that Bristoline was an offshoot of Olympus, although I have no proof. Uh, I had heard that or a subsidiary of it. But this particular Bristoline, as you notice, has a trinocular head. This trinocular head is actually from an Olympus and it fits perfectly as if it were meant to be. Uh, I do understand that Bristoline at one time offered this microscope with a trinocular head, but there's, I don't know, I've never seen one. I don't even know if they exist. But anyway, uh, this one was, I was able to retrofit this with the uh, trinocular head so that I can take uh, pictures. You insert a camera right in there. And uh, the original Bristoline, since it, this is an old microscope, had the early style objectives, which were about the half the length of these objectives. And these are Olympus objectives. Uh, when I decided to upgrade and get some uh, other microscopes, uh, because I needed, I wanted some different le different objectives. Uh, everything today now is the larger size objective. You, 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 you're lucky if you can get some of the earlier ones that are in, still in good shape. So this particular microscope has four objectives. Uh, we have a four power, uh, and I don't know if you notice, but the four power objective on this one is the D-Plan 4, and you can see how long this objective is, right? I don't understand because this objective on this Olympus is also four power, but it's only half the length. It comes to, it comes down to there. Maybe somebody can explain why they did that. You know, it's the same, I believe it's the same optical specifications, 0.1 numerical aperture. Maybe this is different. I don't know, let me see. Uh, I'm not gonna bother with it now. But yes, then I have the 10, which is the standard uh, next one. This is the A series. And then we have the 40, which um, I will explain later. I bought, when I upgraded to a, an Olympus micro, microscope, it came with these objectives, which are supposedly the E series, economy or student. And then we have the 100 oil immersion. These, both of these came off of the uh, Olympus that I upgraded. Nice thing about this microscope is I can use dark field as well as uh, uh, regular light. And then, of course, when I upgraded and decided to get a uh, Olympus series microscope, I bought the CH2. And, and I was fortunate because it, when I bought it, it came with a trinocular head on it. That's really what attracted me to it. So I could take pictures through the uh, microscope. What attracted me to it was this, this fact. Uh, I was very fortunate that this, although this is a very old microscope, it could be 20 to 30 years old, I don't know. It was brand new in the case when I bought it, brand new, never used. It was very fortunate that I got it that way. So this one came with uh, f four objectives, the uh, E-series, then we have the 10 power E-series, and this was supposed to be part of this series over here, as I said. Then I have a very interesting objective here. Uh, this one is uh, by Edmund, 20 power, Edmund. And um, I see we have a lot of reflections here. It's very difficult to see. Edmund, 
So I looked up Edmund, and Edmund objectors are very, very expensive. I mean, in the hundreds and maybe even thousands of dollars. So I know this isn't part of that series. Uh, maybe it's not even by the same company. I mean, I know that they steal names and copy, etc., etc. But this was a very inexpensive 20 power. But what surprised me about this is the high optical quality, which actually surprised me. I decided to keep it. The, the nice thing about this 20 power, for my use, it has a very long working distance compared to normal 20 power ones that I have a 20 power on this one here, which I'll explain later. And um, yes, it had a long working distance. And then I have here a 50 power oil immersion right here. And this is, this is an outstanding objective. And it has its own diaphragm built right into the, uh, right into the objective. How interesting. And I can do dark field and bright field with this one as well. So this is usually my go-to microscope, the 99% of my work. But because microscopes for me are more than just a working tool, more I would say a hobby or a fetish, I, um, obsession maybe, I, want, I always wanted one with five objectives. And when this became available, I uh, got this recently. Um, I always thought that I needed a, um, a microscope with five objectives. I don't know why. After I got it, I said, nah, but I decided I'd just enjoy it. So this one has a four power. It has a 10, 10 power. Then we have a 20 power. And this is actually my favorite objective right here. Excellent image quality, color reproduction, and it has a long working distance. Interestingly, not nearly as long as this one, the Edmund, but certainly long. And that's what I like, because when I work with insects, uh, you can get in close without risk of touching the um, insect as you're scanning over the insect. The, the highs and lows of the insect body sometimes is greater than the actual working distance of some objectives, but not with this not with this 20, and in most cases, not with this. Then I have a 40 power objective that came with the original microscope with the economy ones. And then I have a 60 power objective that I bought from a microscope dealer in Florida uh, by the name of Kurt 45, I believe. Excellent person to do business with. If uh, anybody needs any microscope uh, equipment, certainly, I would recommend doing business with him. I bought this objective from him used. It wasn't cheap, but it is in perfect mint condition. And the resolution and color correction are outstanding, as I would expect with Olympus. But I've seen some 60 power objectives that are pretty bad, pretty bad. Not so with this one. So I don't know. I don't have any favorite microscope. I really don't. Um, they're all, uh, but I do have a favorite objective. And I would say the favorite objective is the 20 power. And um, interestingly, I just, since I just recently got this Edmund, I would actually say and I hate to say this since it's not an Olympus objective, that this is actually my favorite objective because it gives me great working distance so that if I use a 10 power eyepiece, I have myself 200 magnification, uh, five power, 100, 15 power, whatever, if you want to use that. Then for my dissections, etc. when I make my microscope slides, I have an M Accuscope uh, stereo microscope with uh, three objectives, a 10, a 20, and 40. And then let's go to this microscope right here. I did a separate YouTube video on this mic microscope, the Lafayette 1200, Lafayette Radio and Electronics. Uh, this is the microscope that started me in my obsession with uh, microscopes back in 1960, 61, 60 years ago, believe it or not, this microscope is 60 years old. Do you believe this? 
and it's in excellent working condition. This isn't the actual microscope that I bought in 1960. I bought this recently on eBay or something like eBay. Uh, it was an estate sale and I snapped this thing up before uh, someone else got it. I think I paid like $35 for it. But the interesting thing with that microscope is that it came with this box here and it came with four eyepieces, four objectives and four eyepieces. And uh, it ranges in power from 20 power up to 1200. And they did that by using a 60 power objective, this little thing here, times a 20 gave 1200. Of course, we all know that 1200 is really empty magnification, but as a young, impressive uh, teenager, uh, I always thought more was better. And I always wanted 1200 when everyone else had 900. I wanted 1200. And then here we have my piece de resistance, which is, I bought this as a collector's item, actually, just as a conversation piece, because I always wanted to experience a microscope like the uh, famous people from the 19th century, the Pasteurs and the Koch, Kochs, the Pasteurs and the Kochs used. And this is a Siebert Wetzlar. I don't know how old this microscope is. I believe it's from anywhere from 1899 to 1910. I have been unsuccessful in being able to determine how old this microscope actually is. If anybody out there can tell me, I would be most appreciative. But this, this microscope is an absolute gem. I am shocked at the quality of the image. This has three objectives. One of them is an oil immersion. I don't know what the magnification is because it has a strange designation, uh, like the British designations from the 1950s. Instead of 10x or 15x, it would be 3 twelfths or 7 sixteenths. Um, I know that you can calculate the magnification from that, but I don't know how to do it. Uh, but I know it's pretty high. I would guess with the 10 power eyepiece and the oil immersion, it's close to a thousand, maybe 900, but it's close to a thousand. And it's an oil immersion. I think this is it, an oil immersion. And the uh, thing that uh, shocked me was how incredible the image quality was, the color correction and image quality for a microscope that's over a hundred years old. I was stunned. Uh, I've been, I'm really waiting to get a camera. I have ordered a camera. I finally broke down and ordered a, um, a digital camera specifically for microscopes. And it's not by a company called Amscope. Uh, I've experimented with those and um, I find the image quality to be um, not good at all. So I decided to get um, a more, more expensive one. I'm not even gonna tell you what I paid for it because I'm embarrassed. But uh, hopefully when I get it, it will take the kind of pictures I expect it to take. And I will certainly post some images taken through this microscope. But what shocked me is this is a fully working microscope. Uh, very disappointing was the person that I bought it from packed it so poorly that it was heavily damaged when it was delivered. The base, which is cast iron, was broken. This is not the original base. The base was broken. So I was able to get another base from a different microscope entirely and I had to have a machine shop drill. Actually, I did the machining. I had to get access to a machine shop, and we drilled out this portion of it here to um, uh, accommodate it so that it can move like this. The mirror section is, is bent, doesn't work properly, and the Abbey condenser uh, is uh, com the, the rack on the Abbey condenser right here. This portion of it has been slightly bent. This is cast iron, and um, you can't bend cast iron before it breaks. You can bend it a little bit, and this was bent a little bit. And since the tolerances on this microscope in the 1890s were so tight, 
I mean, incredible machine work for the day. Incredible. It's like a work of art. Um, it, as with everything German in those days, such precision, the slightest deviation in the surface it caused it not to work. So that's my um, collection of uh, microscopes. And I'm going to take you over here to my workstation here where I have my uh, slides that I uh, showed on a previous YouTube in a state of drying. And over here, I remember mentioning that uh, the uh, slides sometimes suck, get air bubbles under them, so I add a weight to it. Then over here, I have my stains. I have my eyepieces. And then, of course, over here, I have my um, dehydration, etc., etc. And then I have all my accessories that I use. Sometimes I use and sometimes I don't use. But anyway, and then, of course, lastly, these are my, my microscope slides that I have been uh, doing over a period of years. I have hundreds of them now. Eventually, I'll give them all to my granddaughter. And hopefully, she will pick up the interest. I got her a microscope recently, and I'm just waiting for some feedback. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and um, take care. Enjoy the rest of your quarantine. Bye-bye.